All right, so here we go, setting up the ROG Ally for the first time. This is his first boot up. Okay, and already says enter, you know, I'm trying to log into my Wi-Fi here. There we go, I'm trying to log into my Wi-Fi and I tap this, how do I get a keyboard? What, what the heck? Any, come on, no way. No way. How do I get a keyboard? This is terrible. Can I just not get past this? Because I've hit every button. I bet you there's a hotkey like Steam Up or, or Windows. Oh, keyboard. Okay. Yet, no keyboard. How did I do that? This, keyboard, keyboard. I'm pressing keyboard, am I just dumb? I press the keyboard button, or do not get a keyboard. What am I doing wrong? You would think pressing the keyboard would pop it up, but it doesn't. Okay, we are not off to a good start. <laughs> All right, um, what other options do I have? I could plug in a keyboard, but that, I just need to enter my Wi-Fi password. No way. So I hit this, I hit keyboard, and nothing happens. If I hit resolution, does that change anything? So maybe I'm not actually clicking it. Maybe I have to do that. What about FPS limiter? Real time mon. Okay, none of none of these actually do anything. Okay, so I have to skip. Wow, this is terrible. This is a terrible user experience. Um, I mean, I hate to knock it right out of the gate, but the first thing you have to do is log on to your Wi-Fi. I can't get a keyboard. Luckily for me. I have a keyboard that I can plug in handy, so I'm gonna do that, but I, I bet a lot of people don't just have a Bluetooth keyboard or, or actually a wired USB type C keyboard handy. I just happen to be one of those weirdos. But uh, plug in my, here, there we go. We'll plug in my keyboard and hopefully it'll just work. Okay, it just works, all right. Oh my God, oh my God. So I just disconnected my keyboard because I thought I was done and now I have to name my device. Can't, again, can't pull up a keyboard. So I guess just skip it. This is a horrible oversight for Asus. I mean, it's almost unbelievable that their pop-up keyboard won't work when you're trying to sign up the device or at least maybe I'm in the wrong, but if I'm in the wrong and I'm doing it wrong, they didn't design the system very well because I know my way around devices and I could even, I bet a lot of people wouldn't think to hit this, but I did and it doesn't do anything. So now I have to log in. How am I, now I have to log into my Microsoft account. I gotta get my keyboard again. Wow. Asus, you are missing out on the fundamentals. All right, so now I'm trying to just set up my fingerprint and this whole process took way longer than it should have because it was saying the sensor is dirty even though it wasn't it's brand new right out of the box and then i almost couldn't get it to work eventually i just kept trying and kept trying but and it did work but it was not a good first experience with this either again is it that big of a deal no you don't really need the fingerprint sensor but to just have things fail repeatedly is pretty frustrating okay this is not good make sure your sensor is clean it's clean, I just, I just unboxed it. It hasn't been introduced to anything, but it still won't recognize my finger. Wow, we'll see if that works. I'm a little nervous that that's not gonna work because it did not, uh, didn't do what I thought it was gonna do. All right, hopefully that's the end of it. Location, no, find my device. Okay, it's wanting me to sign up for a bunch of Microsoft stuff. I will do the Xbox Game Pass, actually, because I'm gonna use it with this device. I think it'll be perfect for it. 
what? Okay, I'm just trying to boot up the device for the first time and it just said armory crate crashed. <clears throat> okay, well, it figured it kept going, so I guess it's, we're just gonna leave that. But that makes me a little bit nervous for armory crate. <laughs> I'm gonna unplug the keyboard now. Hopefully I don't need it for a while. Wow, that was one of the worst setup processes I have ever had and I have a lot of devices I mean a lot I've never had a device that you couldn't and I mean couldn't you could not make it past the activation screen without going and getting a keyboard which doesn't come with it you know like not not just being able to activate it with whatever the device comes with Asus you need to figure that out that is a terrible user experience I could see probably a lot of people who buy something like this or like the Steam Deck which I also have on hand might not have a keyboard handy or you know maybe they're unboxing it maybe they haven't turned it on yet and they're taking it for a trip and they don't have their keyboard with them you should not need an external keyboard when you have a perfectly good touchscreen right here with keyboard functionality that is crazy okay I'll stop ranting about it and just like that we're booted in and the keyboard works now so it's just in the Windows setup process that it doesn't work apparently okay first thing I got is a pop-up saying there's a problem, who cares? I'm gonna go get Steam. Right out of the gate, I'm telling you, this keyboard is significantly, or this touch screen is significantly more responsive than the Steam Deck. I've used the Steam Deck's touch screen quite a bit, especially as a keyboard like that, and this is way more responsive. So that is, that is nice, that's actually really nice. Okay, we're gonna go get Steam. And I don't know if you can hear it, but the fans are on pretty loud right now. Not sure if the mic picked it up very well, but uh, the fans are definitely going. And that's a little surprising because all I've done is browse the internet. I'm sure it's doing some updates in the background on stuff. We'll get Steam. We'll install it. Run it. Oh, it's moving air. Oh, man. Yeah, it is moving some air right now.